Okay, in this video, we're going to go through the song, 10,000 Angels. Okay, now, this year, I'm trying something a little different. I had a song that I chose that's really simple for the beginners. And I have a song that's kind of challenging for those who are not beginners. This is the not beginners song, okay? If you have done LTC for four or five times, you know, and the signing part of this is really pretty simple to you, but you're not quite ready to do all three songs or do the super challenge, this is the song I'd like for you to do. Now, I don't normally make those kind of recommendations, but this time I really would like for you to up your game a little bit, all right? Learn something. And uh, this song will push your boundaries a little bit. You'll have to work a little harder on that. And I hope that doesn't scare you away. I want you to do this. And if it, if it scares you away, pick one of the other songs. Just be there, okay? But uh, if you've done signing for a while, then this is the song that you probably should be doing. All right? That said, here's the vocabulary. They bound the hands of Jesus. They. It's just kind of they. So you know, the whole crowd in front of you, somebody asks you, where are they? Well, they're right there. It's the same kind of movement that you would have for answering that question. Bound. Take the wrist, put them together as if they're tied, and circle it a little bit. They bound the hands. Hands. Over the top, over the top. Take the dominant hand first over the subdominant hand. And left and right handers, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Hands of Jesus. And we're going to take words like of and the and an and is and are. It's a lot of the little words that we're just going to drop them. Okay. In sign language, they just don't generally exist. Okay. Unless you're doing C signs. In which case, somebody else is teaching you, not me. Because I really don't know C signs. That C sign stands for signed exact English in case you wanted to know. All right. They bound the hands of Jesus. Okay. Jesus is touching the palms of the hands. That's pretty easy. In the garden where he prayed. Now, we can be specific and say in the, the garden where he prayed. Okay. But we're going to step back a little bit and we're going to pretend that there's a garden right here. All right. So... I'm going to say, in the garden where he prayed. Okay? Now, see what I did there? I have Jesus. Okay, bound the hands of Jesus in the garden where he, where he prayed. Okay? So, I built this picture. And this song is very pictorial, very emotional. You should have some serious emotion when you're singing this song, okay? Even if you're not doing it in sign, this song should touch your heart. And as you're signing it, you should show how it touches your heart, okay? Garden, didn't touch it, didn't tell you what it was. Make G's, kind of touch it with your little finger knuckles out here make a circle towards yourself where it touches your thumb knuckles back here like a little circle here that you're kind of going around okay in the garden where he prayed they led him led okay and I'm going to suggest that there's a progression here you've got the garden you've got the streets and you've got where they're going to abuse him, okay? And let their signs progress with those, those scenes, okay? They led him, or they led him. Let's do Jesus. They led him. Many times the, the deaf do not use pronouns. They'll actually use the nouns over and over again. It drives us hearing people crazy. We like pronouns. It shortens things out. We know who it refers to. It's easy to get that lost in sign language. So the deaf will often use the actual nouns. 
So here we're going to replace the pronoun with a noun. They led him through the streets in shame. Okay. They led, kind of like pulling the, a, a hand along. I'm leading you along. You got your eyes closed. You can't see where I'm taking you. Led him through the streets. So through, I'm not sure I did that sign, but through. Kind of like live long and prosper. And if you can't live long and prosper, you can do it the other with one finger up and it works just the same. That's easier for me to actually do. Okay, through the streets. Okay, and this is just like a little road in front of you. The street in shame. Leave out the word in. You don't need it. Shame. And you really want to make your head represent what you're saying there. Shame. Okay, when you're ashamed, your eyebrows, they're all crunched up. Okay, you're not happy. You're pressed you don't want to be seen okay and it's just kind of coming across your 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 jowl like that okay in shame they spat upon the savior they spat upon the savior spat it's kind of like w for water coming from the lips onto something okay they spat upon the savior save it's kind of letters s coming apart and then lines coming down this is a sign for save and if you put this at the end of any kind of word it means a person that does that so a saving person a savior so pure so, so is such an interesting word. In the English language, I'm not sure how you would define the word so. It's used so many different ways. So, here we go. This is how I, I've already used it many different ways. Here it's just an emphasis. And here I would sign truly. The deaf will do truly to, for emphasis. Truly pure. The letter P, start at the palm and just kind of go across to the end of your middle finger. Pure and it's an open palm kind of coming across into closed fingers. Free from sin. Free from sin. Free. It's the same thing as save only it's F's. Free from, it's kind of like pulling the string on the back of a doll to make it talk. From sin. It's X hands kind of starting at your jawline here and making little circles as it comes out. And it kind of comes out in a V shape. Sin. Okay. They said, point to your chin and come out, said, crucify him. He to blame. They said, crucify him. Where was the last place you left Jesus? Sitting right there. So you can refer back to him. Crucify him. He's to blame. Okay. Crucify. Nail in each hand, put them up. Him. He's to blame. And the letter A on the top of your hand, pointing at him. He's to blame. Now think about how you're going to sign that. That's some deep stuff there. Upon his precious head upon his in sign language the open palm is is uh, ownership so like this is he this would be his 
his head. And since you're doing this on your own head, I always point, make sure that they understand that it's his head. All right, upon his precious, precious is, the, is two F hands, kind of like eyeballs, okay? Kind of making a circle coming up where the O's are together. You can see through, right? Precious head, they placed, okay, a crown of thorns. Okay, this is the sign for crown. But we're going to put the crown on Jesus. And remember, he's still over here. So we're going to put it on him. Crown, precious head, they put crown of thorns. This is a sign for pain. And so we're just going to do little pains around the head. They laughed. They laughed. And you can make that laugh look mean. They laughed. All right. And said, Behold your king. They laughed and said, Behold, look at, take my eyes, two fingers, look at, behold your king. Okay, this is your as an individual, this is your as in a group. Okay, your king. They struck, they struck him, and they cursed him and mocked his holy name. Notice that this finger was kind of there the whole time. All of this is about him. They uh, struck. Okay, this is him standing up getting beat. They struck him and they cursed him. That's to take the words and catch it before it comes out of your mouth. Catch or curse him and mocked as a kind of almost like an I love you. In fact, the, 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 the thumb is in mocked his holy, it's the letter H coming across the palm, holy name all alone he suffered everything you can do the all there if you wish to all alone all it's kind of like putting a, a, a little roofer on top of here and you kind of twiddling your hands all alone it's the person turning their back and sitting down all by themselves he suffered. It's the letter A coming up just below the lip and then coming down the chin. Suffered everything. Every is the fingers coming across, the thumb coming across the fingers. Things. Things is just like you have, you took your, your uh, uh, keyboard apart and where are all the pieces? Well, they're all there everything okay to the howling mob he yielded to the howling this is like a big bucket of voice you know it kind of comes from the chin and comes out howling mob in fact don't change the shapes of your hands there to the howling mob he yielded. Okay. Howling. Or the howling mob. It's kind of a big group of people. He yielded. I give up. Okay. He yielded. He, and notice that my head's already doing this, did not, did not, and you can do did not, but just to do did not, Four, touch your head and kind of rotate your hand a little bit. 
mercy. It's kind of the center finger is out, kind of like that. Anytime you see that center finger, it's kind of a feeling of some sort. Did not for mercy cry. This is actually the sign for beg. Okay. Alms, alms for the poor. You know, beg. He did not for mercy cry. The cross. You always put the long one first and then put the bar on the top. Otherwise, the bar falls down. All right. The cross of shame. Where he did shame. He took alone. And you can do accepted, took. The best way I found to sign this is he picked it up and carried it. Okay? Alone. Again, there's that word alone. Alone is a big part of this song. And when, when, kind of like the stick and you draw a light pop on top, when he, now we've moved him a little bit because now he's on a cross. All right, so when he cried, howling, crying, shouting, same sign, cried, it's finished. Now this is the sign for finished. Jesus is on the cross. Let's show the crucifixion there. Finished. He gave he gave himself to die. He, he, wherever you have him on the cross, he gave, if I have it here, I'm going to give it to you, himself. It's kind of like blame, only the no hand part here, just an A hand pointed up. He gave himself to die. You start with left hand pointed down, right hand pointed up, and just kind of roll them over. Salvation, same thing as save. Wondrous plan was done. Salvation, wondrous. Hands here, hands there. Wonderful plan. I got things here, then next here, and then next here, and then next here. This is my plan. Wondrous plan was, just kind of flip to the back, that means past tense, done, finished. Okay? And then you have the chorus. He could have called, okay? We're not going to put the word have in there. It just kind of makes the, the rhythm of the song play. But he could have, this is two yes hands, could have called, if the hand on the, your right hand on top of your left hand, coming back into a Y hand, called 10, just an A hand, remember your numbers, 10,000, okay, that's just uh, coming into the middle of your palm, angels. Pretty cool sign for angels. They got little wings. To destroy. This is to take and rip up. Destroy the world. W's. The right hand's on top. And then twiddle them until the right hand's on top again. The world. And make himself free. Okay, set him free. Set him free. He could have called 10,000 angels, but he died alone for you and me. But it's kind of like railroad tie, a railroad crossing, you know, they come up. But he died, we got all those signs ready, alone for, you know that sign, you and me. 
and there is the vocabulary. Work through this, and this is a little bit complicated. You're going to have to spend some t little more time here with this song than you will with most of the other songs. But get the vocabulary done. Work at it in sentences, and work on it and get the feeling of the song through there too. So I'm hoping a lot of people choose this song. We'll see. I hope I haven't made it too hard. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. I am, you can find me on uh, Facebook. You can find me on, uh, what, uh, the, um, the website, the LTC Southwest.org website. Uh, you can send me email, however you want to call me if you know my number. All right, I'm not going to put the, my number or my email address here because, well, it's out there on the internet and I don't want it to be a permanent record out there. Anyway, that said, good luck. I'll see you there at, L at, at uh, LTC.